Science 10, Quarter 1, Earth Science. In this video, we will discuss the step-by-step -step process of finding the epicenter of an earthquake using the triangulation method. Seismologists use a triangulation method to find the epicenter of an earthquake. When seismic data is collected from at least three different locations, it can be used to determine the epicenter by where it intersects. Triangulation method uses distance information from three seismic stations to uniquely locate the epicenter of an earthquake. The question is, how to identify the epicenter using this method? In using the triangulation method, we are going to follow three steps. Step 1, get the data from seismic station. Step 2, identify the time difference between the arrival of P and S wave. Step 3, use this formula, D, is equal to, TD, times 100 kilometers, divided by, 8 seconds. This formula, is used to identify the distance of epicenter, from the station, and it is suited because 8 seconds, is the interval between the times of arrival of the P wave and S wave, at a distance of 100 kilometers. Now, let's identify the distance of epicenter from station 1. We are going to use the formula D, is equal to, TD, times 100 kilometers divided by, 8 seconds, where D is the distance of epicenter from the seismic station and TD is the time difference in the arrival of P waves and S waves. The given TD for the first station is 40 seconds. Substitute the given data to the formula. So, we have D, is equal to 40 seconds, times 100 kilometers divided by, 8 seconds. Since we have the unit seconds in numerator and denominator, we will cancel that unit and the remaining unit will be kilometer. Then, multiply 40 to 100 kilometers, which is equal to 4000 kilometers, then, divide the product to 8. The final answer is, 500 kilometers. After we compute the distance of the epicenter from the first station, we are going to plot it in the Philippine map. Find station 1, Occidental Mindoro, in the Philippine map. Identify the scale that you are going to use. For this, we are going to use 100 km is to 1 cm. Therefore, if the computed distance is 500 km then, we have 5 cm. Set your compass in 5 cm. Center your compass on station 1, Occidental Mindoro, and draw a circle. It's time for you to compute for the remaining stations. Repeat step 1 and 2, for the rest of the stations, Samar and Sambo del Nord, you should get, 3 circles, the intersection, of the 3 circles, is the location of the epicenter, 